Hey guys, welcome to V Fanatic, and today we'll be discussing ESXi to ESXi 6.0 upgrade. So essentially, once you uh, want to upgrade your ESX, the first thing you'll need to do is uh, you need to actually boot off the ISO image or the CD or the DVD, whichever you have. Now here I'm choosing the CD-ROM device. I've actually got the ISO already mounted and uh, I'm just about to boot off the CD. So once I do that, the first thing I'll be able to see is the 6.0 install image, which is there. So I can either choose to boot off the ESXi 6.0 or the local disk. Now here I can actually edit the boot configuration. For example, if I choose the boot from local disk, I can actually go hit the tab and I can actually choose and pass on boot parameters. But here I will not. I just hit escape and uh, I'm actually booting off the installer itself. So here you can see the ESXi installer actually loading. Now the thing to note is this is an upgrade. So I already have 5.5 installed and I'm upgrading it to a 6.0. So in case you guys run into any issues with the install itself, in that case I'll also be talking you through how to actually troubleshoot, how to revert back, etc. So here the version of ESX that we are trying to install is 6.0. The build number is the one you see on screen right now and uh, the familiar gray and yellow screen is just there. At the bottom you can see the progress monitor which is going from left to right and as always if you want to see the logs in that case the option that you need to choose is the Alt plus F12. So if you hit the Alt plus F12 you can actually see the logs as they're scrolling past. Now during an install there are two types of logs or uh, two different logs that you can actually check. The first log, of course, is the VM kernel, which is accessible if you hit the all plus F12. And here you can see the uh, logs for the bootloader or the actual boot, uh, boot, uh, boot logging that is actually going on. And for doing that, you'll need to hit the Alt plus F1 key on the keyboard. So if you hit Alt, Alt plus F12, that takes you to the VM kernel logs, the all plus F1 actually takes you to the boot or the install logs. Now to get back to the install screen uh, or to get back to the GUI what you need to do is hit the Alt plus F11 key on the keyboard and that essentially takes you back to the GUI install screen. So here you can see that um, the install um, is progressing so the install logs are just here and if I switch back into the Alt plus F12, you can see that the VM kernel logs are, um, are actually progressing as well. Now the difference between the two different types of logs is the install log um, is only accessible during an install. Now the other thing you can do is you can actually log on to the system itself. So if you um, hit the Alt plus F2 key on the keyboard that actually takes you to the ESXi single user mode and the normal password doesn't work because it's an install and it's a fresh install at that so we need to um, basically just type in the user root and then hit enter and that allows us to go in. Now once we do an LS on the file system you see that you have a boot bank but you don't actually have an alter boot bank yet that is because the 5.5 was a clean install and uh, as such you only have the ESXi install sitting in the boot bank. Now switching back to the all plus F12 and the all plus F1 screens you can see the logs which just came up there. Now here I'm just waiting for the um, install to actually start. Now a couple of things to keep in mind, um, one is during an upgrade, so if you're doing an upgrade, there are multiple ways of doing an upgrade actually, you can choose to do an upgrade by using the update manager, you can choose to do an update by using the ESX, ESX uh, CLI options, but here I'm actually doing the upgrade just by using the ISO, so here I'm choosing to install, I'm, I'm actually accepting the EULA. 
and you can see right at the bottom there that there are options um, the options which came up on screen it's actually showing up right at the end there so I've chosen to the um, I've actually I'm actually accepting the EULA and it's letting me through to the next end the first thing it's going to do is scan for file systems which are there and it's going to essentially search for previously installed ESXi versions now in this case since it's at an install it's going to find the local disk and it's going to actually tell us that it already has a file system in there and essentially it's ESX 5.5 so here you can see what's going on it's actually found out the file system it realizes that uh, previously uh, the version of ESX installed is actually 5.5 .5 and it's giving us three options the first option is to go ahead and do an upgrade and preserve the VMFS data store the second ins uh, um, option is doing a fresh clean install of ESX but it will, un it will not actually touch the VMFS data store and the third option is to wipe, overwrite the VMFS data store itself. So if you choose the first two options, the virtual machine configuration, etc., are not touched. So if you have virtual machines which are running on local data store, so those will remain intact. Now here I've chosen the first option, wherein I'm upgrading ESX and I'm not overwriting the uh, VMFS partition. So what that's going to do is that it's going to give my username and passwords and all that saved. And also, since I'm not touching the ESXi local data store, so any virtual machines which are running, or rather, any virtual machines which are sitting on that particular data store will still remain. Now the entire installed process takes um, around about 15 minutes or so and uh, there are a couple of places in which the install tends to take a very long time. So during such phases what I've done is I've actually purposefully just paused the video so that uh, those stretches can be covered and you don't need to wait um, and look at the screen wherein various modules are getting up, um, loaded. So here it's uh, telling us that uh, we're going to upgrade the ESXi version from 5.5 to 6.0. I'm just proceeding with the upgrade here. So you can switch back between the install screen and the log screen just by uh, going into Alt F12 and coming back into the Alt F11. So that actually allows you to switch between what you see um, going on in the front end and correlate that to what you see in the logs. So how this helps is if you are doing an upgrade and if that actually fails, so for example if it stalls for a very long time, or you're doing an upgrade and that actually fails and you want to figure out as to why that's failed so switching to the logs actually will give you a better perspective of why that's failing now here you can see the uh, that uh, caching it's actually caching all the files it needs to load now what it does is pretty simple it's going to write the new files to the boot bank and it's going to rename the uh, existing boot bank which we saw at the beginning of the video to alt boot bank so the configuration and and um, the uh, state of the esxi system is actually saved uh, here if you do an ls you still see that you only see the boot bank you don't see the alt boot bank up till now and that remains the same until the first boot is done so once the first boot is done the old boot bank is renamed or rather the boot bank is renamed into the old boot bank 
and a fresh uh, fresh boot bank has actually created so here installation is done let me just go ahead and do a reboot here okay so the reboot is done now here I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to allow ESX um, i6.0 to do its thing and uh, that's basically going to take me into the ESX i6.0 file system here so you can see on top the version right now is booting off is 6.0 the build number which is in front of you and I'll just be logging in normally and I'll be doing two things one is checking if all the configuration is intact essentially it should be and the setting second thing I'll be doing is I'll be checking the status of the boot bank and the all boot banks now that we have an upgrade which is done successfully um, I'd expect to see the old configuration present in the um, all boot bank okay so um, we are almost done here it's doing the VPX save start and we are logged in okay so you can see on top that the version is now 6.0 build number is the build number you see there um, the first thing I'll need to do is check if the old password actually works so if the password from 5.5 works that means that the configuration more or less would be uh, would remain the same so here I've entered the password I can log in which is a good thing the other thing I need to check is whether ESXi shell and SSH are enabled uh, we had enabled that previously and if you can see here both are enabled so I'm just exiting out and I'll be logging into the um, single user mode So once I do an ls, you can see that there are now two entities there. One is the alt boot bank, one is the boot bank. Um, that means that I've got the configuration of 5.5 as well as 6.0 present. Now if I want to test and if I want to roll back, let's say I've done something, powered on a couple of virtual machines and then I figure out that I'm running into issues and I need to roll back to a previous version. In that case, what I'll be doing is I'll actually go ahead and restart the server. Okay, so that's in progress and should be done in a while here. So what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll try and revert I'll see if the uh, image in the old boot bank really does work so what I'll be doing is after this uh, server actually reboots I'll go ahead down to the uh, recovery options and I'll try the shift plus R and check if the system can actually revert back from 6.0 to 5.5 okay so here um, if you can see on the screen there it tells me that it's going to revert back to the earlier hypervisor which is 5.5 at the um, bottom of the screen I have two options of yes and no I'm choosing the option that says yes so essentially it's going to roll back
Now once you do the rollback, the, ac the, the actual switch between the operating systems doesn't take too long because all it's doing is it's going ahead and renaming um, the boot bank to all boot bank and the all boot bank to boot bank to making it the primary boot device. So if you can see on top, it hardly took about a minute but then you already are booting off the ESXi 5.5. We'll just wait for um, the hypervisor to completely boot before we log in. Okay, so we've logged in. Okay, so I'm logged in. And if you can see here, the all boot bank and the boot bank are still here. Now the question is, once you've done a restore, can you actually go back to 6.0? Will that even work? Um, let's find out. Alright, it's booting again. Um, okay, so let me just hit the Shift plus R key again. And you can see that there are no um, alternate hypervisors to roll back to. So what that essentially means is once you've rolled back to the earlier hypervisor um, and you've used the Shift plus R or the recovery once, in that case, there's no real way of going back from 5.5 .5 to 6.0 again. So you can do it once, that works. But then once you are uh, rolled back to an early version, um, using the Shift plus R at least, you can't actually roll back to the earlier version again. So from here on, it's going to be just plain logging into 5.5 .5 and I'll go to the same steps now. So what I'll be doing is I'll go ahead and upgrade um, this particular install, which is 5.5 .5 to 6.0. Um, so I'll be ending the video here because the upgrade we've already covered in the previous versions. I mean the previous video here. So as always, Thank you for watching um, VFanatic and in case you have any suggestions um, do write in, do share and subscribe for more and in case you want to see a specific video you don't see on the channel do comment back in so that way we'll be able to create a video that you really need. Thanks for watching. Thank you.